Hi there, and welcome to vProof. In this video, I'll show you what's new in vProof 3. In vProof 3, proofing files is faster, better, and more efficient. We've improved performance. Annotating files is now twice as fast, and we've decreased the CPU usage per concurrent user by 500%. Some of these features are configurable, and you may need to configure rights or product settings to use the features and tools in this video. In vProof, use the print dialog to generate a PDF proof report. This PDF is generated on the server to reduce client load. Now you can create a report with actual size or best quality, high resolution image with the annotations and approvals. Notice that the report includes the annotation marks and numbers and contains tables to summarize the approval states and annotations. You can also generate a report of the image you see on your screen in a content report. Here is a content report using the current view option. We've added new compare features that make it easier to compare revisions of the same file. Show or hide the Difference panel in Compare mode using the Difference panel toggle. Use the Film Strip Carousel toggle icons to expand and collapse thumbnails for that revision. In Collapsed view, use the Film Strip's Carousel mode to select pages. Right click on the thumbnail and then choose Show Page on Left or Show Page on Right. Now you can choose which revisions you want to compare. Use the Advanced Compare Align tool to modify the alignment between the left and right views. The Align tool is useful when you want to compare images that are offset or set to different scales. The changes you make to the alignment and scale affect the right compare panel. You can enter a value for the X and Y offset or scale. Use the Zoom and Pan tools to adjust the offset. Or register points by clicking the same point on the left and right views to automatically set the alignment and scale. We've grouped revisions to make them easier to view and compare. Revisions of a file are now grouped. You'll see this in the file drop-down lists. The revisions are indented under the file names. Use the new Film Strip Revision Stacking toggle to show and hide previous revisions. This lets you stack revisions so that the most recent revision is on top and previous revisions are hidden. In Grid View, we've added the option to show all revisions. We added a new user write so that you can download an original file right in vProof. Use the download button on the toolbar to access this option. You can download all supported printable file formats, for example, PDF, Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, EPS, Microsoft Office, and raster images. Use the page safety guides to make sure that important content is included in your printed copy. This is useful for setting guides for binding and cutting. Set different safety guides for even and odd pages. We've added usability improvements. Pin the film strip for easy viewing by clicking the film strip icon and choosing Show. We added a copy button to the annotation bubble. We added copy and paste buttons to the annotation comment dialog. Collapse and expand the file details section. Now when you expand the annotations and approvals, the file details also collapses so you can see more of the other sections. View any page side by side in Reader Spread View. Now you can load any page on the right or left by right clicking on the page from the film strip carousel and then choosing Show Page on Left or Show Page on Right. We added monitor calibration with X-Rite i1 Display Pro to vProof 3. That means vProof now supports this device. 
In vProof 3, we added the new Licensable Video Proofing module. Now you can proof video files. That's what's new in vProof 3. Thanks for watching.